So here's a DIY demo on how to make your own on guard hand mist. So I know that a lot of these ingredients are not really in stock right now. So you're just going to do the best you can. Um, ideally with this scenario right now with the whole coronavirus, you would be using a store bought hand sanitizer. Now you're not going to find me saying that very much. Um, this is because the CDC recommends that we need a 60% or more of alcohol content in the hand sanitizer. And when you make your own, it's kind of hard to guess. Um, now we can do our best. Um, I still have a lot of trust with using doTERRA essential oils and the 91% alcohol that I do have, but I'm going to be going over some different options for you. Um, it's just hard to measure when you make your own. Um, but they are also not researching like on guard, which has a lot of research done on it with specific bacteria and viruses, which I can't mention here, but you can do your own research. So I'm going to be making a two ounce spray. So the ingredients that you'll need, any, um, any sort of alcohol. Now, Everclear alcohol is actually going to be better than rubbing alcohol because it's an ethyl alcohol, which doesn't strip our hands of its natural acidic layer, which is our first line of defense. So ideally, that's what you'd be using. I think you can still get some online. There might still be some in stores. I'm not exactly sure, but that's definitely going to be the next place that I'm going to get my alcohol from because rubbing alcohol really strips us of our natural line of defense on our skin. But we have it. We can only do the best we can. So basically, I'm going to be adding, again, this is a two ounce spray here. I'm going to be adding 15 drops of On Guard and lemon essential oil. So I'll do that first. All right, and then we're going to do the lemon. Should open this before I started. So both of these, sorry, I can't talk and count at the same time. Both of these have a lot of antimicrobial properties themselves. Um, again, no specific tests have been done with essential oils and the coronavirus, so I can't say for sure that they will kill the virus, um, but in the past they've shown promising results. Um, and then I'm going to just add a little, a, a little bit of fractionated coconut oil. I think it's like two teaspoons, but I'm, I'm not going to measure because I don't like measuring. Um, this is just so that this doesn't fully dry out our hands. I'm going to add maybe just a little bit more to that. Um, and then another ingredient that you can experiment with is aloe gel or aloe juice. Now, we don't have aloe gel at the moment and it's super expensive, but I was reminded that you can use juice. And so this is just a juice that I had, I had ordered like quite a few months ago to um, take internally. So I'm just going to use some of this. Now, ideally you'd be using all 